Alright, now we're actually going to get to installing this into our fight stick. I'm just going to be using my MagCat Standard Edition Dual Modded Fight Stick. And I do apologize, the wiring is a mess. Internally, it's about equal to the Mad Cats Tournament Edition stick, so if you have one of those, you can pay attention as well. If you have a different stick, you can still kind of follow along and get the idea of how to put it in. Really, it's just connecting wire from point A to point B a lot. If you've already assembled this yourself, then the only thing that you're going to need is wire and LED lights. I also used a little bit of hot glue and electrical tape to kind of clean up any wire edges that may touch and cause short circuits. Now here we have a look into my mess of a standard edition flight stick. Alright, I'm going to pause for a sec to kind of... We have to attach a signal wire from our push button to the in on the board. It's silk screened on there so you can identify which in is in. You'll need at least six push buttons for this to work completely properly. You'll also need to understand the Street Fighter lingo for one punch, two punch, three punch. That would be jab, strong, fierce, respectively. Kicks are short, forward, and roundhouse. Then you need to solder a wire to the outside to the positive end of the LED Stick that LED next to its corresponding button, and then solder the negative end to ground. Alright, since you're probably getting tired of staring at this spaghetti mess, let's go ahead and get started on the LED mod. Follow a specific color wire down to the barrier strip that it attaches to. In my case, I'm using the third punch, or fierce. I already have a few soldered on from my dual mod. Anyways, look at the top and find where your wire went to and which point. Basically, in my case, I'm following the green wire to that specific point on there. See, it's right here, and then, following through to the barrier strip, I find that that point is right there. This is where I'm going to solder onto for fierce. But before we do this, I'm going to solder on ground to my FG widget board. Now I have a ground wire coming from where the chimps black USB wire goes out. On any other board you can ha solder on another wire from where the black USB wire is at. Next up we also have to solder on the VCC which is providing the power. You can use any VCC on one of Toodle's boards or or solder another wire where the red USB wire is at. Alright, after you've soldered these two on, your board will look something like this. The top is ground and the bottom is VCC. Alright, now we're going to have a look at soldering signal to the inside of the board. We're going to follow this wire that has two wires soldered to it. One is soldered to my chimp board, the other is soldered to my FG widget board. This is also my roundhouse button. Alright, now let's follow it. It goes up through the loop of mess, and it finally ends here. I've soldered it on, and now we can solder on our LED light for it. But first, let's make sure you know your positive and negative of an LED light. The positive side is slightly, very slightly longer. If you ever have trouble with an LED light, just try turning it on backwards. Sometimes it just works. Alright, but we're going to solder the positive side of the LED light to a wire to the roundhouse out, like so. Now, I'm also going to apply a little electrical tape. Then, to keep it in place, I just use a little bit of hot glue. I've seen people drill into their buttons, but I have 5mm LEDs and that usually requires 3mm LEDs. Also you'll notice I've soldered another wire onto the other lead, the negative lead. This goes to ground. Attach this wire to any of the ground points on the barrier strip. If 
you don't have a barrier strip, you can buy one from Radio Shack. I highly recommend it. Now you just need to repeat this process for each LED light for each button that you're going to be using. This board also supports light up joysticks. However, to understand the wiring, you need to refer to the welcome document included. Then you can look at how badly your wiring did and how much better it was than Okay, so it's not the best wiring out there, but it really works. Anyways, at least nobody will have to see it. Just screw back on your back plate and get ready to play with your sweet LED modded stick. Once you're done, have fun with all the modes. My favorite is inverted fade on release so that after I push a button or I let go of it, it glows back to light like that. And also, if you let it rest for a little while, it'll go into screensaver mode like that. Pretty awesome.